Hello. Today we are going to talk about AppleLink. AppleLink shares are exchanging lower Monday because of worries of an iPhone creation deficiency in the midst of progressing fights in China. What took place? After a deadly fire broke out in Yurumki, protesters in Shanghai and Beijing spoke out against China's strict zero-COVID policy over the weekend, according to reports. A number of people expressed concerns, claiming that the fire was brought on by extreme lockdown measures that slowed down rescue efforts. Due to stringent COVID regulations, Apple's primary manufacturing hub of Zhengzhou is likely to experience production shortfalls of close to 6 million iPhone Pro units this year. View from the Analyst In a new note to clients, Wedbush analyst Daniel Ives stated that China's zero-COVID policy has reached a tipping point. Ives stated, Apple is basically caught in the crossfire heading into the crucial Christmas time period. The Wedbush analyst anticipates a 5% drop in iPhone sales, depending on how production shortages and protests play out. That number could rise to 10%. He added that inventory of the iPhone Pro is down between 35% and 45% in Apple stores heading into December. I've stated, Our bullish thesis on Apple is demand-driven, which is very firm. Despite the fact that, Brutal supply shortages in the near term remain a clear overhang for the stock to navigate. Related website, an Apple analyst asserts that China's COVID policy is reaching its limit, how APL price action will affect iPhone sales. Apple's 52-week high and low are $182.94 and $129.04, respectively. If any Apple-related product exists, NASDAQ. APL, and right now, it's the iPhone. However, a problem with iPhone supplier Foxconn is making today's APL stock traders nervous. More specifically, this quarter's introduction of iPhones may be hampered by COVID-19 lockdown protest-related disruptions at a Chinese factory. Apple's situation couldn't have come at a worse time. Investors are concerned about whether consumers will purchase pricey iPhones this year and are keeping an eye on holiday shopping sales people may be reluctant to shop till they drop in December due to the fact that inflation has begun to fall but remains elevated. However, demand for iPhones is not the issue at hand right now. It all depends on Apple's capacity to supply them. Earlier today, a Bloomberg report cautioned that because of turmoil at a China-based Foxconn plant, Apple could confront an iPhone Ace creation deficit of approximately 6 million units. However, both Apple and Foxconn anticipate being able to make up this production deficit by the following year. What's going on with the APL stock? As of this writing, traders are still processing the impact of the Foxconn factory disruption on APL stock, which is down nearly 2%. The major indices of the stock market are also down at the moment. The most recent round of COVID-19 restrictions in China clearly concern investors. Workers at Foxconn's Zhengzhou production facility appear to be protesting overdue pay and restrictions related to COVID. In September, Apple unveiled its brand new iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max models. It is unquestionably disappointing that the business is already experiencing supply issues that may make it challenging to promptly deliver these products to customers. Apple had previously reduced the number of iPhones it wanted to produce in the fourth quarter from 90 million to around 87 million. However, this new development in China may result in a lower revision. A number of APL stock traders are immediately selling shares today because they are aware of this and are generally concerned about the dynamics of supply and demand during the holiday shopping season. David Modal did not have any positions, directly or indirectly in the securities mentioned in this article as of the date of publication, subject to the InvestorPlace.com publishing guidelines. The author's opinions are expressed in this article. David Modal has given convincing substance and crossed the periodic line for diverse simpleton, smash the road, market pragmatist, talk markets, tip ranks, Benzinga, and InvestorPlace.com.in edition. He is the host of the well-known financial YouTube channel Looking at the Markets and serves as Portfolio Wealth Global's chief analyst and market researcher. Thank you for watching.
For more financial news and info, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons.